Hey fam, we just wanted to uh, make a quick shout out to um, Four Wars, our sponsors. Uh, also, we wanted to dedicate this um, this episode, our season launch episode, episode our season three, episode one. We wanted to dedicate this episode to uh, a good friend, uh, Harry, who unfortunately passed um, last week. And we wanted to send our love and our and our gratitude to yeah. Four Wars and the team. Thank you so much to Stacy, Pat, and Rat, and and the rest of the team who are who have been here and helping us do what we get what we get to do. And we wanted to say love and so so to you guys that you know we appreciate everything you guys do. Um, but also we wanted to dedicate this on behalf of um, the Also Table Talk podcast mm-hmm. to you guys and yep. uh, also to Harry. We love you guys. Love you guys. Talo falava kiora malo lele aloha bulivinaka fakalo falahia tu kiora na and what's good everybody? This is cool. DJ Waves, Nons and Rolly, and this is the Uso Table Talk Podcast uh, Season back, Three. Woo! Let's go! We are here. We Woo! are here. And we're ready, and we're ready for Season Three. Yep. Yeah, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what we've got. Um, we've had a we had a <laughs> meeting and all the ideas that are coming through, man. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm excited. It. And. Yep. I was so glad that we had a a big break, but I was very uh, you know a big uh, big break. I did <laughs> miss miss the podcast. Yeah, so you know, it was yeah, a big break. So, yes. Yeah, during the break, guys. Whoa. Oh yeah, bro. Well, how, how was it? How how was your break? What did you get up to? Um, <laughs> what's what's like three stuff that um, f- three things that you guys went through? Oh, that you guys did during <laughs> the, uh, the break. Three you things. Um, you get first. Do things. Um, Probably just spending time with family, man. Yeah, um, that's yeah. a lot of things. A lot. <laughs> Working and church, bro. That's pff. nice. That's, nice. That's probably the three things that's that's been on my list. Serving at youth eh? during this break. Serving in youth ministry, bro. Mm. But I, I heard you had a mean summer camp. Bro. Yeah, how was that? Surely everyone knew we had a mean summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you gotta let everyone know too. <laughs> nah, yeah, but it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, um, it was good because we hadn't we hadn't had summer camp in like. Two years or something Two like that. Two years, yeah, wow. Because so, of COVID, eh? Yeah, because of COVID. And it was just good to get away and, yeah, man, just hear, hear from the Lord. Yep. <laughs> hear from the Lord. That's it. Was. <laughs> but yeah, bro, it was good. It was good. Mm. Oh, I love it was that. a great way to start off the year, bro. Always is, man. Uh, I, I think my three things were yeah, I, moved, I moved houses. Yeah, that's um, right. Nice. Me and my wife. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, nah. It's a nice place, bro. It's, it's a, nice good. Place. It's it's a really nice place. place. Other than that, just been training and working. Nice, and Sorry, training I see some you. more, man. I see you. I know you're, you're, you're trying to skip the, the <laughs> training. Yeah, training at work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I see hey, you. Man, we see. We know what you're doing, man. It's, Thanks, wait, it's encouraging. Oh, oh, might as, yeah, might as well share mine. Yeah, on my break, I haven't done anything like um, to you know better my 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 health kind of thing so it was just a coincidence that today was um uh, my <laughs> <laughs> the start to our family uh, my family challenge nice. we just started like a eight week challenge like just with my family like with my extended family as well so oh, it's pretty cool yeah um, it was like first prize is like 500 bucks so wow yeah man that's the thing yeah, that's the thing yeah. that's, that's the, the thing that's, that's the thing we're gonna play some game oh. yeah. yeah we're ready right. for some games we're getting into some games um I'm the games man today. Oh. So the games master, sorry. So the game sensei. Are we ready for this game, guys? I don't know, bro. I, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. My bro, my ahead. my performances in these last games have been shocking, man. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's not your performance. Okay, okay. It's not your performance. It's this guy's oh, delivery. Bro, what? Bro. <laughs> oh, I'm Sorry, I'm, because, damn, I'm still bro. trying to recover. Like I'm still trying to recover from the Fiji comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro! <laughs> People on TikTok bro, are savage, bro, man. Bro, bro. So they was cracking up for you. Like, yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> bro, well, this game, I promise you, this is a lot better. All right, <laughs> fingers crossed. Touch wood. Um, I call this game. Um, that's my also. That's my also. Hey. Hey. It even comes with a theme song. Mm, yeah, I always try and be a bit creative. Theme song. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the reason why I called it That's My Uso is because it's it's gonna be used to, obviously. Mm. Oh what? battling each other. Okay. And it's gonna be about like if that's your also. Is that your also? Ah, yeah, if yeah. you use your also, oh, that wow. means you know your also. Okay. If you know your also, you know these questions. Alright. You know the answers <laughs> for these questions. So pretty much um Jeremiah, I'm gonna ask you questions about rolling. Mm-hmm. Rolly, I'm going to ask you questions about Jeremiah. So like easy dubs. Oh, easy what do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon? Let us know. So, let's just get straight into it. Eh? No, all right. Let's <laughs> get straight into <laughs> it. We're going to practice. We get, we get the idea. <laughs> all right, you got the idea? Let's go. All right. Yeah. Jeremiah, all right. First question. All right, let's go. Oh, Waves, sorry. Waves. How many siblings does Rolling have and what are they? What are they? <laughs> 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 what? Bro, I didn't know that. I didn't know how to ask it. I was like, what, what are, are they? they? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, Rolly, Rolly has two <laughs> other siblings. Yeah. And they're, they're boys. <laughs> they're boys. <laughs> they're both boys. Uh, close us. Oh. Close. Close. <sighs> Close. Not a secret family member. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have three younger brothers. Oh, really? Yeah. Three of them. And they are boys. <laughs> what are they? Who's <laughs> 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 they are children of God. Rolling, rolling. Next question. <laughs> I promise this is. Uh, well, my English is back. Oh, my English is back. <laughs> All right, Rolly. Yeah. What team does Wave support in the NRL? Oh. Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Give me the bag right now. All right. Bulldogs. Yes. Come that's on. It. That's it. Ah, uh, Waves. How is Rolling's full name pronounced? Uh, Rolling. <coughs> Someone tougher, isn't it? That's the answer. Oh, yeah, like my full name. Yeah. No. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me you said this guy up. <laughs> honest, honest. Bro. Honest, bro. <laughs> bro, trust me. Do you trust the process? No, no, I don't even know. <laughs> you know my full name. No, I don't. You <laughs> don't. <laughs> so what is it? Yeah, what is it, dude? It's um, <laughs> Vincent Rawling. Wallace Funimala Faikini. You think you know someone and then Vincent comes up. Oh, and then. <laughs> wow. Yeah, bro. So. We have a special guest here named Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, all right. Rolly, Rolly, Rolly. Yeah. All right. What month did Jeremiah get married? Are you serious? What? He was there. Yeah. Yeah, wow. When was it? So they come on, she really got a. You set me up, up right. bro. Because <laughs> he doesn't know it. <laughs> 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 he doesn't remember. Hurry up. I'm going to give a buzzer. Five. Hey, this guy didn't get a buzzer. <laughs> wait, what? Five. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you Four. were there at my wedding. Three. <laughs> no, nah, wait. The clock's putting Two. me off. September. Oh, oh, you got it. You got it, bro. You really got it. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> that was June. Funny, yeah. June. Oh, pe- pe- <laughs> so, it's right before lockdown. Zero, zero. Zero. <laughs> Sole, I remember. Because yeah. the other wedding got shut down. Who's the other wedding? The one up the road. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the police yeah, came. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, us. All right, Jeremiah. That's all right. It's zero one. Zero one so far, okay? That, that's a shocking Should I get one? Yeah. No, I no, got no, one. No, he got one. Oh, you're zero. All right, ready? <laughs> Just do, you got to redeem yourself. Ready? So, what is Rawlings shoe size? 18. 18 what? $18? <laughs> <laughs> 18 what? This guy and his questions. <laughs> what are they? 
18 US yeah. men's. Is that right? That's, bro, that's correct, but I gotta say, like, what does this have to be aired, bro? What does oh, <laughs> <laughs> everyone got to know? That's a fun fact, well, guys. Show them, show them. Us. <laughs> Let them know. Next yeah. question. When was the year that Waves was born? Ninety four. Yes, you got it right. You're lying. Ninety four. That's my birthday. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's two one. I I was confident. Nice Confidence, bro. Nice. Back yourself. See, see back that. yourself. If anything, back yourself, guys. This is for two points. Two uh, points. I, Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> this is make or break. Is rolling allergic to anything? If so, what? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, if you get this, you're clutch, bro. You're clutch. Right now, it's a 4v1 war zone. You're up against a squad. You have no armor left. Rolling is allergic to. Oh, just I'll give you a little hint. <laughs> yeah, give us a hint. Are you sure you want yeah. to do it? Yeah. Hint, hint, hint. Oh, what a, what a good man. They're common. They're very common allergies. Oh, hay fever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I was going with that one, but uh. What was it then? Chocolate and nuts. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> and that, guys, is our games for today. <laughs> Chocolate and nuts. What are you? What are you? <laughs> what are, what are what you? you? <laughs> Oh, so it was, yeah. Bro, what a, wow. game. what a game. <laughs> what a game. Hey, you did it. You I redeemed myself. Did, did I redeem myself? <laughs> did I redeem myself? Yeah, but you redeemed yourself. Bro. That was a great game. All right, right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go straight into our next segment, which is What's, What's the, the Jam? Let's go. The USA Table Talk Podcast. Hold up a second. What's the Jam? Yes, welcome back, fam, to another episode of What's the Jam? And if you don't know what What's The Jam is about, it's where us also use our humble platform to shed some light and show some love yeah. to people who are just killing it in their craft, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. Killing it in their craft. And so today, we got someone special to me, one of my boys. Come on, let's go. He goes by the name of Jason, aka Juicy Cuts. Woo! Boom, 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 yes. So, let's man's go. is a barber. Barber? Men's is a barber. Nice. And um, Lord knows I need one right now. Check that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah, looking good. Same yeah, it's not looking good for me. But he's a barber, bro. And 100%. so. I've got a question. I've got a good question for you. Is oh, right mate. To ask you? Send it. Send it these ways. <laughs> it's not. It's not the question in the game store. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but send it these ways. How did? How did your? Um, how did he start his uh, journey as a barber? Yeah, yeah, um, crazy. So he started, I think, August two thousand and nineteen. Wow. So like, not not that long ago. Like, still, still pretty recent. Wait, that's pretty. That's, hey, that's like, yeah, three years. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah so I like still, still, still recent ish. Yeah. Right, Recovered. and um, he started from his garage, bro. Nice. Really. And he had no sort of. Like quals, mm -hmm. he had no experience. So he had no, him. yeah, like he didn't go through any courses. Wow. He just had a friend who was like, hey, bro, are you keen to cut my hair? Yeah. And he just learned off YouTube. Yeah, but YouTube's a good teacher. How he just YouTube? learned of YouTube How? and then just like over time kept perfecting his craft, nice. kept it working at it. And he had friends around him that were willing to, to get those first practice cuts going. <laughs> And well, um, yeah, that's how it started, man. That's how it started. It's like cutting your little brother's hair. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's got little brothers. Um, yes, he does. He oh, has. True. He, has, he has little brothers, but I believe he started on one of his friends. Oh, true. Nice, yeah. nice. And that's a good friend, bro. Bro, bro, hundred percent. That's a good friend. That's a brave friend. <laughs> yeah. That's a really brave friend. Yeah. But look, it's paid true. off, man. It's paid off. It's paid off. Yeah. And YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Wow. Well, just learn of YouTube and yeah. just keep at it, bro. Mm. No, um, he he cuts out of his garage. Oh, so mm. he's still. Oh, yeah. well. So like he's still there. Yeah, he's still there, but it's growing, man. Yeah. Like I think I saw some of his medias too. Like he he had some video promo video on mm. his own page, and yep. his studio, his like setup looks really nice. Bro, like, so, like, nice setup um, too. It doesn't. He look started like a, from scratch. Like he painted the walls. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't and look like he your saved setup. up money to buy all of the decor and stuff. 
Mm. And like, like just really, really. Wait, wait, is that the one with the like shoes on the mm. wall? Yes, I think like that's Jordan's in that on the no. on the walls. Yeah, Jordan oh. says heaps of jerseys and oh. like like he's really done it up. Yeah. And I remember when he started legit from the ground up. Yeah. Wow. And, he, and he was just super faithful, bro. He was just super yeah. faithful. Kept working at it, kept sticking through. And it's paying off, That's man. awesome, bro. Yeah, but his goal is to open up his own store. Mm. And here's a slogan. And it's um, for the people and the culture. Oof. Nice. And Simple, he man. told me that in everything he does, he wants to do just that. Nice. Um, and whether that's... Whether that's like giving free haircuts to the people mm-hmm. or using his media and like his, his his platform to show love to other businesses, to other black, yeah, to other black creators, yeah, yeah. and 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 artists and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Then he's all about it, bro. I love that. That's like humbling, you know. Hundred percent. It's like giving back to the community yeah. and things like that. Mm. It's and using using what's in your hands to to give back. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And like he's helping people up as he goes. Yeah. And um, there's this beautiful thing that he said to me, he goes, as we try to grow and make it out together, I first and foremost want to give glory to my God for making sure that whatever position I'm in, I never forget that he was the one that put me in this position Ooh. and continues to take me to new new roads and new rivers, bro. Come on, Jason. Yeah. Um, what was his words of wisdom as well? Mm. Like words of wisdom for anyone who was trying to pursue that dream yeah like as a as a barber mm. or maybe even for anyone you know yeah yeah bro like anyone chasing their dream he simply said as cliche as this sounds yeah. to never give up nice never yeah. give up and it is like we've, we've we've all probably heard that before yeah heard it once or twice in our lifetime but he said never give up because you have to be a better person than you were yesterday mm. Come on. You have to be. And um, yeah. he said it takes time to be successful. And I mean, three years ago, I can understand. Because yeah. then he would have had to cut through COVID. Yeah. And that probably would have to slow him down. Yeah. Um, but never give up. <laughs> never give up. Nice. Never give up. Nice. Sorry, Jason. Um, yeah, but he's, yeah, like he's, he's just a good dude. He's not just a good barber. Like he's a good guy. Yeah. Nice. He's a good dude, man, and so I'm I'm super proud of how far he's come, but even more excited and keen to see how far he takes it, man. Come good on. Stuff. Yeah. We're definitely keen to see more of what 100%. he's got for her. So, yeah, man, if you're interested and you're keen to get a cut from my boy Jason, we're going to chuck his socials down below and his website. Yeah. So make sure you go check that out. Give it a follow. Yeah. Check it out, fam. Jason, yeah, Juicy, cuts. Juicy Cuts. Juicy Cuts. Let's go. Shout out to you. Um, and also... Shout out to you guys for tuning in. Make sure you um, check it out on, his, on our Instagram. Yep. And uh, we'll, sh- we'll share this as a post and, and make sure you show uh, some love to the fam. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, right now, we're going to get to our next segment, which is the Hot Tala. The Uso Table Talk Podcast. Hot Tala. Hot Tala. Hot Tala for you, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hot Tala. If this is your first time tuning in. Uh, this is the Hot Tala. It's basically uh, a segment where we really get real and uh, we talk about some things that we feel like need to be brought to attention. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be real. Sometimes it's it's a bit deep, but this is a, a deep one. Yeah. <laughs> it gets like that, eh? Yeah, yeah. hard. But um, yeah. So basically, uh, it's my turn to do the hot tala this this uh, episode, Let's and go, I bro. thought you know to bring it, we gotta we gotta be unapologetic for some of the things that we um, we bring to the table, mm-hmm. but also we want to make sure that we're not we're coming across with grace and and understanding that we're just here to uplift the people, which yeah. is our our heart mm-hmm. and our vision, really. So um, this is a, a deep one that I want to bring to the table. So um, I hope we're ready, boys, because. Yeah. Let's go. It's going to be what good. Do got, what do you got, man? Um, so you've all obviously had an idea or a sense of an idea for what, like, this this um, this thing that you hear nowadays is called cancel culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, the label cancel culture, you know, it sounds a bit new. It sounds definitely like something that's kind of been going around a lot on social media. And, you know, like, when you think of examples of cancel culture, basically it's like the way of not... Um, it's like excluding someone out socially or yeah. in cutting ties in a way. Yeah. Um, you look at, like, you know, uh, bad example, but R. Kelly. Mm. You know, yeah. I've, I've had 
I've had so many songs of this that guy like right, so many um, guys got on, bangers, really. yeah, yeah and I, I always want to play them but then I feel like socially I can't play it because it'll get cancelled as a DJ you know, yeah, as a yeah, DJ yeah. so mm, right it's it's one of those things like it's, it's should I play this song yeah. because you know there's always gonna be that one person wow this DJ is playing R. Kelly yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah and in that sense like it ends up wow. looking like you know I'd probably get cancelled too but yeah um, true yeah <laughs> no 100% <laughs> But, like, it's something I feel, you know, the label cancel culture is new nowadays. Mm. Um, and you, you hear it a lot on, on social media and stuff like that, like, cancel this guy, cancel this yeah. guy. Yeah. And it's it's not the best. I don't think it's, like, it, to me, it's an ugly, it's a ugly um, kind of culture, mm. really. And I say that with, with passion because, like, that's not what we're called for. Yeah. But um, when I thought about cancel culture, I thought about, like our own culture and traditional speaking, like Pacifica culture, mm, yeah. you know, our people's culture. And something I thought was evident was cancel culture, the label of it is new, but there's always been that sort of culture in our own um, culture. Mm. <clears throat> and even just the way we do our day to day lives and our upbringings as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've all experienced a sense of cancel culture, but. Right. I think more more commonly known um, around our our uh, culture is um, honor and shame mm. culture. Yeah. So that's something I feel like I want to bring to the table today is the honor and shame culture that we that we have in our in our um, in our upbringings or even even in, even in our traditional culture as yeah. well. Yeah, and that's something I felt like I really wanted to bring to the table today. So uh, the title for this uh, hot tala is. Honor and shame culture. Honor and shame. Write yeah. that down. So, oh, this is a big one. Um, and I honestly feel like, uh, you know, there's so many examples and, like, you know, I got a bit traumatic, tra- like traumatized thinking about it think too, but I thought that needs to be spoken about, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's so many things that I feel, a lot of situations where people were impacted by honor and shame culture, you know, and I thought I'd ask you guys um, firsthand, like, what are some, what has been your experience with honor and shame culture? So I, a few examples I wanted to share was like, you know, in honor and shame culture, um, you know, for us, our, our people, we have a very, like, big honor towards authoritative figures, yep. you know, when it comes to people who hold titles above us or are titles in, in our culture, whether it be like, chief titles mm. or um you know pastors or things like that yeah you know we 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 we're used to seeing them being so honored well mm. yeah. and we do it so well and i love that i love that idea but something that bothers me so much um and i speak it with like my heart is like we don't share that same sort of honor and love to those who we feel need it the most yeah mm. yeah you know you look at <clears throat> there was a page i i saw um, it was it was called uh, Pacifica Speaks, yeah, yep. yep. um, and it's about this. Um, it's about um, women and and men even coming forward about their stories with domestic violence. Yeah, and I thought, you know, why does it feel so hard to bring those stories out? Mm. It's because we would naturally feel a lot of shame from that. Yeah, but my my you know, and I I try to be sensitive as to this topic, but like my my heart says that we should try our best to share that honor towards other people who were being brave about sharing real yeah. things in like their the, lives. The you know? victims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, naturally we've, like, there's so many other examples, like, even um, when we come come up to seating at, at church, you know, there's things that we don't do because we feel like we're not honored enough to be able to do that. Mm. Like, you look at um, the front row of a Samoan church, Ooh. It's very empty as compared to the back row. Yeah. You know, and the reason why people don't want to go to the front is it's because we've accepted the fact that, like, I'm not good enough to be at the yeah. front row, you know, uh, or, like, it's in our minds or ingrained in us that we have to be honoured to be able to sit in the front row. Right. Like, nowadays, you know, even at my own church, you just see the pastor sit there and everyone wants to kick back in the back. Yeah. It just feels too, like, um, pressuring to be in the front. Mm. Well, that's just some like some small experiences, or not small, but some experiences that I've felt, um, you know, I've experienced. What about you guys? I'll start with you, Rolly. This is not one that I've experienced myself, but I think I've seen, and it's pretty common. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
um, people having children out of wedlock, mm. um, and there's this huge wow, that's a big shame one, bro. just yeah, yeah. put on that put 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 on them, mm. um, and even sometimes put put on the child who yeah yeah who did not have a say in that. But then I've I've seen that child change change families. Yeah, yeah. And change mindsets and like I've seen families, yes, they they they're angry at that and it brings brings a shame. But then that child then brings families together. It, yeah. It, it then becomes um a joy, right? And I th- think that shame can be so so dangerous, man. Yeah, because yeah. it, it, like it really just isolates people and draws them away from what our culture is, from 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 what our culture does so naturally, which is do things in community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do do life together, right? Mm. And that that shame really does not want to make you be part of a community. <laughs> it wants to make you do 100%. life by yourself. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's 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 just one super common example that 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 I've seen. Yeah, um, I would say like I've experienced it, but same thing. Yeah. Like I've seen experiences of seeing people experience shame through like um, their how do you say it? like a career that they would like like to undertake, like uh, ah yeah, yeah. Right, pursue another one, yeah, a, a career that they like to pursue in. So you're t- so you're talking more about like um, someone wanting to pursue a career, yeah, yeah, and they're not able to do it, or yeah, yeah, like they um, fail at doing it, or or like probably like the profession is probably like doesn't align with uh, the traditions of like your family yeah. as well, mm, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. it's different, yeah, it's different. It's like to it's what we are very used yeah, to, yeah, or yeah, 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 exactly, right, exactly. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, 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 bro. Yeah. I think you're onto something because my my example was super extreme. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes honor and and shame culture is yes in those extreme examples, but also in the very in the subtle ones, subtle yeah. ones yeah, like yeah. Yeah. like like what you were trying to say. Yeah. With jobs and like careers. Yeah, yeah. Um, for 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 Islanders, what is expected or what the stereotype is yeah. is footy player, <laughs> musician. <laughs> yeah. And warehousing. Yeah, and if you want to do anything outside of that, yeah, there is shame because it's different. Yeah, yeah, because we don't yeah. see our people in it. Um, yeah. We we are not represented in those spaces. Yeah, right. And so when one of our people do want to enter into those spheres and mm. enter into those circles, they they're met with a oh, eh? yeah, why? Yeah, I think because there's a lack of understanding. Yeah, they 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 it's replaced with. Uh, shame mm. in a way you know um for for a, a story I, I wanted to share like um my my brother you know yeah. for example like i've shared it before on the podcast before so i know it's safe um but my brother was actually one of the first to have a baby in mm. yeah um in youth in the at the time and i just remember seeing him and his partner being so distraught and not understanding like how to deal with it yeah. in a sense and i felt um, you know, watching him go through that, it it was it was a lot of um, you know, a lot of shame that was put upon them, mm. and I I honestly would, would look back and and think, man, what a waste, what a waste of putting all that shame that you know. Then any, any every other youth started having kids, and it wasn't it wasn't that like you know like shame on you not like look like, you know you know you're you're dealing with the same thing, but right. it was more like. We could have handled that better, yeah. You know, and and that's something I feel. There's always a better something better to do. There's always a better way to to handle things. And ha- yes, exactly. Um, and I say I say that like, you know, I, I take that not lightly as well. So, mm-hmm. um, another ex- another experience that I've seen within the church confines is um, uh, when people leave church. Oof. Like to me. Um, you know, mm-hmm. there's so yeah. many reasons why someone would leave church, but I've obviously seen like when someone moves church or when someone leaves the church, it's like they've left a 
a gang or something, you know, yeah. and it's, there's this shame that gets placed upon them because it's like, oh, they've lost their way, they've lost their faith. It's like, no, it's just you've lost the ability to love them anyways, mm. you know, and mm. that's something I feel like honor and shame culture, mm. like it's, it's setting us, it's setting this new, this normal that it's okay to be, to accept the fact that, um, you know, we're not honoring people in the same um, level. Yeah. You know, when, when we have grace, when we have, um, when we understand God and his grace for us, it puts us all at a, uh, at a equal, plane, equal yeah. level, you know, and that's something we don't see when it comes to honor and shame culture. Yep. Um, yeah. Off the top of my head, like so many examples I could think of easily. Yeah, um, of, of, yeah. Can I show you one more? Mm. Like this one just about, like went straight from the top of my head, but you know, we can bring so much, like people can bring shame into those those moments because it's seen as a, a a bad thing or like a like a bad moment you know what i mean yeah yeah and it's and it's so shameful but man like if you think about it even like good things as well if even if like someone makes it out of the area some people are like bring shame to that as well yeah you know, they're yeah. like oh they're, they're up themselves now yeah you know what i mean yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely know what you mean, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's a good like, perspective. Bro, yeah, like, bro, that's crazy. Like, you, you you can't win. Like, sometimes you just can't win because yeah. everyone has uh, has to share an opinion, mm. even if even if you're you're doing well in your life, or if you're doing like I mean, sorry, even if you're doing bad, or if you're doing like like the best, like you're making it up there. Like, for example, like my one of my boys, like Luai, mm. you know, like he's he's killing it right now, but there's still people like. Putting his name down and yeah. saying like, "Oh, nah, he's changed. He's all this and that." Am I allowed to drop names? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, he's like, "Oh, he's changed. He's up some. He's up themselves." And even even the team, like yeah. the Penrith team itself. I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's like, I just thought like that's crazy. It could be a from a, a positive outcome or a negative too. Yeah, I move on to the second question that I have is um, mm. what is your idea of honor, or what does it look like to you? Okay, uh, so um, I feel like honor to me is should be shared around equally, like evenly, and that it it is um, has a lot of uh, grace in it as well. Mm. That you know, like I, I was taught this from young. I'm pretty sure we were all taught this from young to not judge any book by its cover and yeah, not yeah. and that and I just believe that honor honoring should be like we should honor everyone at the same level, whether you're you know, you're up there like as a pastor or whether you're a criminal in jail as well. Yeah. And I just think, you know, um just having like that meaning of honor it's like respect as well. Like just respecting each other as like Respecting each other equally. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, I think, um, nah, I don't want to quote Because <laughs> I didn't know the quote. I had, I, I, it was like a quote that was very, um, it was like, it was going along the words of like, I'll shake, I'll shake like the president's hand mm. um, the same way I'll shake um, like a janitor at, yeah. at a school's hand or something yeah, like that. Yeah. I think it was Tom Hardy or something. But yeah, it was like, just like that. Yeah. It's just like, the same, it comes, it comes both ways because it's like you don't know what they went through. Yeah, hard. you don't know, like you know, uh, the the adversities they've they've had to overcome to be where they are now. Mm. So yeah, that's that's what I feel like. That's um, true. Honor means to me. Yeah. How about you, Rolly? And like, mine's very similar to yours, Nons. Mm. Um, we we touched on. Um, there's 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 different ways that we can react to both shame and honor. Mm. Um, but there are always ways that we can do it better. Yeah. yeah. And Nonji shared about you could be winning in life or yeah. or or losing. And yet that shame and honour, especially shame will follow you regardless of where you find yourself, winning yeah. or losing in life. Hard. Um and so I guess honour for me would look like just you know, just having empathy and understanding for everyone and yeah, anyone. Yeah. Because like we've touched on, you could be losing in life and everyone's just judging your life based on you losing. Yeah. Right? But 
we don't understand what's going on. We don't understand how you've got there. We don't understand your story. We don't understand the context. Mm. And you could be winning. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we're so quick to, you know, like draw up conclusions to your life. Yeah. And just, just, just being the first, the first port of call, just be understanding and empathy. Nice. And, Knowing that, okay, I may even be right with my judgment or right with my shame or honor, yeah. But still, still choosing to understand and and to be empathetic and to show love, yeah, yeah. Um, to anyone and everyone, yeah, yeah. Um, up, down, sideways, wherever you find yourself, yeah. whatever your position is, um, yeah, man, that'll be. I love that my he's both idea of honor. I love that he's both touched on like, um honoring people at the same level kind of thing yeah and i think that's a very important thing something i um was thinking about this morning as i was uh, preparing for this hotala was you know when it comes to what i my idea of honor looks like yep um it's it goes along the lines of um more towards relationship mm. um you know checking your relationship with that person um mm. i find I've always had this trouble with um, authoritative figures, mm. um, wh- whether it's it's a pastor or or a boss or something like that, um, something to that nature, like someone above yeah. my role or my my title or whatever. Um, I've always had trouble trying to build that relationship because in our culture, we've often placed people on pedestals so much mm. that they've right. become unreachable. Come on, yeah, and. You know, I've seen it in our culture as well. Like, um, if I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be honest and and say this, it's pretty bold to say, but yeah. sometimes I feel Speak. like our pastors need to see the real us, yeah, at the real relationship yeah. stuff, rather than just getting praised all the time and given stuff um, for free. You know, like they're there to be our spiritual guides, our, our yeah. spiritual leaders. You know, they need to hear the rubbish. They need to hear what's going on at home more so than what we can give them. Right. And I think that's that's it's healthy. It's healthy yeah. to build a relationship away from the pedestal of of their title. Yeah. Or their 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 um their job role, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's something I am learning to try and also adapt to that, but also try and um create new pathways to build relationships with, with um authoritative figures mm-hmm. in my life. Um, I know that personally I really want to um, create this new normal that when it comes to honour, it's it's relational. Mm. Yeah. It's it's not like it's that. not pedestal where praise me because I did this, mm. but it's man, we're we're talking facts, we're talking we're being straight with one with one other one another. And I wanna make sure that for me, Michael, my goal, my my honour and and things that when I when I choose to honour people, it's relational. Yeah. I like that you're saying um healthy that it's healthy yeah because yeah. bro like like um i feel like people would see healthy as to cover to cover up the yeah. bad things and that um it's more of, of an image yeah, thing. yeah. And, then, and then the more the more it's covering up it's the more like it's going under the carpet under the carpet yeah, yeah. until it yeah. just blows up and then no point looking healthy or looking <laughs> yeah, big if man. you can't you know do fitness properly. Insta models. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, anyways. No, so, but I'm glad you mentioned relationship because yeah. then I think when you have a relationship with someone, there is an understanding because yeah. you know all of them, yeah. not just a part, not just a good yeah. part, yeah. the ugly part too. Right, but yeah. but you know the ugly part too. Yeah. And we all have that ugly part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like our social media message otherwise because it's a highlight reel on that. Yeah. But we, it, like everyone's got that part that we would like to hide. Yeah. And yeah. I think if you if you take someone just based on that good part alone, as opposed to taking all of them for who they really yeah. are, then I like, love it, man. Yeah, like, to a point. Um, going back onto like the the honoring our our, our authoritative figures kind of thing. Mm-hmm. To a point, I understand how having like in our Christianity we have this sort of reverence towards God, mm-hmm. and that's like you know. Very important, and I and I and I, I applaud on people who have sort that sort of reverence to to God, but I think sometimes we we idolize or even honor 
our authoritative figures so much that we we have built in our minds or in our culture this hierarchy of um you know because you're below me you got to do this mm. or you have to do this and yeah. i think there is a time and place for that but not not all the time yep. yeah um but moving on to our next question i wanted to ask um We've kind of already spoke about solutions, so I won't really go there on the last one. But I wanted to ask, um, do you think honour and shame culture holds you back in life? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it one quick answer. One quick answer. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, um, sorry, what was, sorry, what was the question? Does, on, does this honour and shame culture hold you back in life? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, like what I was saying before, like mm. when I was saying the, the the whole career stuff. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Stop you from from your pursuing your career, mm. especially if you know that God's planned that for you as well. Yeah. That's and true. um, yeah, I just feel like there's so many nosy people out there that just really have the energy to keep you like keep you in this little box that mm. you don't want to come out of. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. 100% it holds us back. Um, Because then I think when you grow up and you see those patterns of, okay, this is this is what gets honoured. Yeah. And this is what gets shamed. Yeah. yeah. Then you aren't, no, you unconsciously start to yeah, 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 yeah. Behave yeah. adopt yeah. and behave those same principles yeah. that you see. And then it carries on and who you hang out with yeah, you start to implement those to those around you, or or vice versa. Yeah, when you have kids, those ideologies, those beliefs, those yeah. values, that yeah. honor and shame goes on to them. Yeah, yeah. that's why. That's yeah, why when you look at, at like you know Balangi churches, you know you see their front rows just stacked of young people. Yeah, but when you come to to um, a Samoan church or a traditional church or ethnic churches, yeah. majority of the front row is just empty, bro, because yeah. everyone has that sense of. I don't look like the pastor does, I'm or I'm not worthy enough to be there. So, yeah, it's it's quite evident. So it, it definitely is, does hold you back when you have that kind of upbringing or that that sort of mentality. Yeah, stop that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. So, so I thought you know to end it off. Um, you know, we we all kind of already touched on on solutions, really. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I thought I'd share this just to close it off. Um, you know, obviously we touched on a lot of things that we could have went deep on, but. Just to simply put it forward, something that I thought well, you know a good solution would be is to honor up, honor down, on left and right. And some, the thought behind that, um, I remember hearing this in a classroom sometime, one time, and I, I remember the thought behind it was to you know in, in a team sense, in a team environment, you know make sure that we're making the time to actually honor the people above us, honor the people who we serve alongside, and also honoring the people who we lead. Yeah, you know, and that would be obviously honoring down. Yeah, um, and you know when you look nice. at when you look at um, Jesus and and in the sense of when he was around at, at that time with um, you know as in his human form, obviously, um, when he was you know spending time with people who were socially would be nowadays like cancelled. Yeah, 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 you know, like he went outside of the city walls and and healed people and and spent time with people who you would say were, were shamed yeah. Yeah. shamed for life like they they had sicknesses that they were dealt with and and you know they 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 were just shamed oh remember that guy they, that's the guy with leprosy so he was shamed for life like socially no one wanted to do anything with him and you know there's so many examples of that like in the bible and you know with jesus what well, he he broke the normal of um the shame you know mm. like currency yeah. If you look at shame as a currency, it's like if I hang out with someone who, who who's been shamed or who has been, you know, cancelled socially, you know, it's it's like this I'm gonna get cancelled too. Yeah. Yeah. But that wasn't the case. Yeah. You know, Jesus is definitely not cancelled, thank yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it's it's like it's like he had the time to to spend time and relationship with with broken people as well as people who are honored. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. that's something um you know, I truly admire and I honestly want to carry with my own life as well. Um, you know, honoring and blessing others should be an overflow. Um, 
of how we honor ours, our people at home. You know, that's something uh, I wanted to actually just expand on a little bit. Um, so honoring and, and blessing people out of the overflow of our home. That's a word I felt like I got this from, um, from God, obviously. Um, and it was an understanding that when I'm, when I'm blessing and honoring people in my own way at home, my everyday people, yeah. that should be an overflow of how you bless other people. Yeah. Um, and you know, if you're taking the time to say thank you, you know, obviously I only live with my wife, but <laughs> if I'm taking the time to say yeah. thank you to my wife, you know, yeah. for the little things that she does, it'll for mean sure. I'll, I can practice the same thing outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, and um, that's something I feel like is a is a solution as well yeah. to to um, honor the people that you live with, honor the people that see you every day. Yeah. You know, I, I definitely hope you boys feel honored to be <laughs> well, <laughs> doing this alongside yeah, me. But yeah. I love that. Bro. You know, we're able to do this, and um, I actually wrote down that quote that um, you, you mentioned before about Tom Hardy. Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> was it right? Yeah, no, you weren't right. But oh. it, it was along that <laughs> line. <laughs> so I saw the meme. I, I googled it up today because I remember it was Tom Hardy's face, but I just couldn't remember the, what the words exactly. Um, but Tom Hardy said that I was taught to treat the janitor with the same respect as the CEO, and I thought that was really. Um, <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> I thought that's that's where it comes comes down to comes yeah. down to. I thought that's where it comes down to. You know, yeah. it comes down to showing the same sort of grace and love that you would have for those who, um, you know, um, that we see every day, but also those who we feel are elevated in society, mm. but also those who we don't we feel like don't receive so much love or honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, notice the notice the broken people, yeah. and that's everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hard up. Um, but yeah, that's just a little encouragement I wanted to end off with. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, awesome. hot tala episode awesome, one. You know, man, if we're a bit rusty, then rust yourself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, I love you guys. Rust. <laughs> but right now, I'm gonna get the also um, nuns to pray for us. All I'm gonna right. close off. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for um, this opportunity just to speak life and speak uh, to each and every one of um, the, the hearts that are out there and that are at home right now or at work or whoever's listening and who's ever tuning in right now, God. I just pray that you um, continue to just encourage those to um, just not uh, just to um, reduce the, the feeling of, of shame and reduce the feeling of just um, not not um having having any honor in themselves father god i just pray that you you help us and and continue to um um strengthen us in everything that we do mm. uh god i just pray for those that aren't fortunate enough to um have have loved ones uh, beside them or um you know have lost their loved ones or are just not you know in a good position right now lord um i just pray for them and i pray for their hearts and i pray that you just uh let them know that you're there for them father and uh we love you lord and i just pray for a blessed week and a blessed year and we love you in the jesus name we pray amen 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 all right wow and that is another episode done boys <laughs> in the bag in the episode bag. one one episode tahi episode tahi, tahi. Wow. Hey, but thank you guys for tuning in. Make thank sure you. you like and subscribe. Do all of that fun stuff. Check out some even older stuff that we've done in the past. Yeah, yeah, hard. Yeah, but oldies like, but goldies. Two seasons. Dude. Oldies but goldies, bro. So make sure you check that out. And um, huge shout out to our sponsors, Four Walls. Oh, come and get a Four cut. Walls. Come and check it out. <laughs> um, yeah, man. But we love you guys. Yeah, uh, we so love you guys. Man. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, like. Subscribe, like, subscribe, comment down below. Do whatever you want to. What do. else can you do? Uh, send like uh, hating comments if you want. Hey, send some memes, bro. I love some <laughs> memes. So send some memes. Um, yeah, but shout out, shout out, bro. Shout um, out. Who, 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 I want to shout out to firstly my wife Moana. I love you. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, and thank you for the screen that you've given us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but um. I also want to shout out to also uh, Skivvy who uh, tunes in to all of our episodes, oh. always listens oh. back, and he's always working hard. 
Um, I bet you right now he's listening and he's working at, um, at, at work right now. So right. shout out to Skivy, you're the man. In, so. you're the shout man. out to you, Skivy. Love, you Love you so. Love you so. Next time, don't um, turn me down and go into the gym. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Oh, uh, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot about the person <laughs> already. <laughs> what the <laughs> hey, I want to see who it is now. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, who is it? Uh, I just want to give a few shout out to my partner. Oh. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What are they? No. <laughs> What the fake reaction? Oh, <laughs> no, big shout out to you, love you. Yeah. yeah. Shout out. Go. Oh, shout wow, out so us. we're surprising people, are we? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, hey, I just want to shout out to my. My three brothers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just shout out to yeah, man. Shout out to the boys. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Full credit to the boys. Um, uh, let's try. Oh, uh, what? Oh, what? shout what out to the Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what? I love the Bulldogs. Hey, tough hey, week, eh? Tough, tough, week. Hey. tough week. Tough week. Hey, still early days, round two. Mm. Let's keep pushing through. Oh, bars. Bars, I see what you did there. Oh, you All see right. that? Let's chop. Well done. All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys.